Hello and welcome back. I'm Gayatri from Kalari Nirvana. Today I'm going to share a healthy palak paneer recipe with you. It's not just normal palak paneer. I'm going to add some ingredients such as sweet potato leaves which are really good for your health and packed with amazing nutrients and fibers and coconut milk and I'm going to cook that in mustard oil. So let's get started. For this recipe we need all these ingredients and we need some shallots. You could use red onion. Uh, two cloves of garlic, one tomato which I have medium diced and I have taken the pulp out so I'm also going to use the pulp, some garam masala, black pepper powder, red chilli powder, turmeric powder, some spring onions, spinach, sweet potato leaves, coriander stalks, chilies, paneer, coconut milk, mustard oil and these are the ingredients for the tempering which is completely optional. Mm -hmm. So here on medium high and I'm going to add one good tablespoon of mustard oil. I like to use mustard oil because it has a really good pungent flavor. And after that, I'm going to add my coriander stalks, garlic, and shallots together. I'm going to fry this on medium high heat for about five minutes. One thing I forgot to mention is salt, of course, and I have added the salt in here. And it has been about five minutes. Now I'm going to add my chilies and all these spices. I'm going to give it a mix and continue to saute this for about two to three minutes. Right, so it has been about two to three minutes, and now I'm going to add my tomatoes, which uh, which is a pulp, my spring onions, and the sweet potato leaves and the spinach leaves. These vegetables, I'm not going to move them around because there is no space in my pot. So I'm going to cover this pot oops, and let it wilt for about 2-3 minutes. I wilted this thing for 5 minutes and as you can see now the spinach and sweet potato leaves are nice and cooked. But I'm going to cook them for another 5 minutes. It has been about 5 minutes. Now I'm going to add half a cup of water in here and about 100 ml of coconut milk. This is a 200 ml pack, so I'm using 100 ml right now. Let it boil for just 1 minute and then I'm going to blend this into a semi fine paste. Right, so this is how your puree should look like semi fine not completely fine it should have a little bit of texture because that's what gives this dish a better taste so i'm going to put this puree back in this pot which i haven't washed or anything so there's a little bit of curry left in this so i'm just going to add half a cup of water just gently rinse this food processor pan not pan whatever jar and just put it back in there i'm going to add my tomatoes because i like that crunch in my curries and I don't like overly cooked tomatoes. Half a cup of more water and rest of the coconut milk. Let it boil for five minutes and then we will come back to it. Right so one thing I would like to tell you about paneer. If you are living outside India and if you are using frozen paneer what you can do is you can put the paneer into hot water with some salt. If you still have access to normal fresh paneer I still like to put it in warm water with a pinch of salt in it. So that's what I have done here. So this curry is bubbling from last five minutes. Now it's time to add the garam masala. I'm using two teaspoons and it's a homemade garam masala. I'm going to give it a mix. And just before you serve it, you add your paneer. So I'm going to serve it right away. So I'm going to add the paneer. Mix it gently and cover this pot for three, four minutes and let it simmer. Right, so till my curry is happening, I'm going to start with my tadka and for that, I have heated some mustard oil in here and now I'm going to add my cumin seeds, three peppercorns and uh, garlic. Oh, the chilli also went in. I'm going to saute this or fry this till it becomes golden brown. It's looking nice and golden. This is what exactly I want. Now I'm going to add the chilies in here. This is completely optional and Kashmiri red chilli powder just for the colour. Just mix it well and turn the gas off. You can pour this tadka 
directly into this curry but what i like to do is just before serving it i like to drizzle this tadka over this curry right so i'm going to give it a taste because i like tasting food and i'm going to take some more piece of paneer and this drizzle of tadka limey look at that the green and the red oh right, so let's taste Mm. It's refreshing. It's delicious. It's slightly spicy. It goes really well with steam rice rotis or even gluten free rotis like bakris. Do give this recipe a try and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.